Hey, how's it going? You're watching the Iron Wheel Vlog, your place to find tips, tricks, and experience in triathlon, multi-sport, and endurance events and training. So I seem to say this each week, uh, but unfortunately my training this week, again, hasn't really gone as well as I would hope. So after the park run last week, uh, after my vlog actually, I started to get really tender Achilles. So walking was actually fairly painful. Um, I took a couple of days off running. I didn't run until I think it was either Tuesday or Wednesday, just since it was quite sore, like really sore and to touch it was really sore. So uh, actually yesterday I went to see a podiatrist to get myself uh, assessed, make sure that everything is okay. And the news was that I've got some degree of tendinopathy. I think that's the word, tendinopathy. Anyway, whatever it is. Some sort of soreness of the tendons, uh, specifically the Achilles tendon. So yeah, it looks like I'll be fine to do the marathon in the Kung Fu slippers in September. So that's like two months away. Uh, but I need to make sure that I manage my feet and especially my Achilles tendon really well over the next couple of months. So building up strength in my calf muscle especially and also the Achilles tendon. So this is what goes for if anyone wants to get into any sort of barefoot style running or minimalist shoe type running then you've really got to transition from regular shoes down to the barefoot zero drop type shoes or lack of shoes really carefully. So build up the, the paces and that sort of thing and the distances really slowly and incrementally. What I did was I went a bit too much too soon. So during the park run that I did last week, I was in the Vibram Five Fingers and I went a bit too fast too soon and was actually causing damage to my Achilles. So even though I said, you gotta make sure you warm up every time and stretch every time, it also, it's incredibly important to make sure that you ramp up appropriately every time. And I was given some certain exercises to help with the strengthening of especially my Achilles tendon and my calf muscle to ensure that I can get through to the event. So one of them is like find some sort of a step or a ledge, so something like this, and my foot be on the edge, and I want to just with my body weight, with my body strength, lift up for four seconds, hold for two seconds, and then go down for four seconds, and hold for two seconds. And then do that over and over again, uh, 10 times on the left leg, 10 times on the right leg, then again 10 times on the left, 10 times on the right, and again 10 times on the left, 10 times on the right. Obviously I wasn't doing it just then, but once you do this, uh, especially after the 10th time, your, my calves are on fire. So they're definitely doing something, and hopefully by doing this every day, which is the recommendation from the podiatrist, I should be all good for the race. Another recommendation he said was uh, foam rolling is often better than stretching, so you don't want to overstretch your calf muscle and ligaments, that sort of thing. If you overstretch it, then you can also, again, be causing more damage. And you may have noticed that the shoes that I'm wearing are not minimalist shoes, they're not the Vibram Five Fingers. So that's another recommendation is, I don't have to do all of my training in the minimalist type shoes, especially to begin with. Once I get further and further down, then yes, I wanna be doing more training in the minimalist shoes so that my feet, my Achilles, my calf muscles especially are all extremely used to running and long distances. Uh, but to begin with, especially for heavier duty exercises, so strength and speed uh, workouts, so ones where I'm going really fast, and to some extent ones where I'm going for a long time, I can wear the regular type shoes just so that I don't damage my Achilles. So today I'm doing about 18k thereabouts. There's a thing called the Bay Run near me, which is about a 7k loop, so I'm going to do that twice plus a little bit, and that'll get me to, I'm hoping for about 18 kilometers. Again, it depends on how my calves and my Achilles feel. Another recommendation from, so at where I get my running shoes from is Running Science uh, in, I think they're in Roselle is the suburb, uh, in Sydney, here in Australia. And that's also where the podiatrist is that I'm going to. And also the charity that I'm running for, for the Blackmores Marathon, which is the Run Beyond Project, is also based out of that place. So that place is massive for me at the moment. One of the other recommendations they have given me uh, so that I can have the best chance at 
uh, not injuring myself and in completing the marathon in the fastest time possible to set the Guinness World Record title is to try and drop my weight as much as possible. So uh, over the last few days I've been trying to do uh, a stronger style of intermittent fasting called OMAD. So it's one meal a day. That's what I'm going to be trying to do as often as possible. Um, although pretty much as often as I can I will be doing intermittent fasting each day. I know from proof in the past that that has been a great way to drop weight as fast as possible. So by race day in about two months, ideally I want to drop myself about 10 kilos. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I do want to drop as much weight as possible. So yeah, this week hasn't been great for exercise. I've done probably about, whoa, about 20 kilometers of running so far this week, spread over about three or four days. So today I'm going to be pretty much doubling that for the week. but over the next few weeks, hopefully with all of this uh, help from the podiatrist, I'll be increasing and increasing my kilometers each week to the point where running a marathon is no problems at all, even in Kung Fu slippers. And also just want to do a quick shout out, uh, Matt Legrand, another YouTube channel, a friend of mine, uh, unfortunately had an accident just recently while cycling, lots of gashes, bike is all torn up, he's all torn up. Matt. I hope that you are recovering as well as possible. I hope it doesn't hurt too much. So sorry to hear that this has happened to you. Best of luck for your recovery, Matt. So I'm gonna go on my 18, 20 kilometer run now. If you want swim, bike, run content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.